friends and happy whatever day it is today I think it's Wednesday not sure um, I thought I would take you guys through a day in the life of a working mom with MS I'm not sure what to call the video yet but I did ask you guys popping my first paracetamol of the day because my headache is just out of this world and uh, some tummy aches too um, female reasons um, and it's affecting me a lot <laughs> also a big shout out to my new tumbler so I got this um, I want to say Friday last week so I've had it for a few days now I got it in Primark for 10 euros and it's lovely <laughs> keeps my water cold and it has a straw and it's a neutral color so I'm very very happy um, so you guys saw me make breakfast this morning um, decided to go with eggs on toast and some different kinds of fruits so one of the things that I try to do every morning is that I try to consume at least at least two but preferably three types of greens in the morning usually fruit and berries so usually I will have like blueberries and apples and something else uh, or I will have uh, two kinds of berries and one one fruit with my either yogurt or gluten-free toast or whatever so this morning I only had two uh, I had grapes and apple but it's a good way for me to get fibers natural fibers and vitamins in first thing in the morning i struggle to drink water first thing i always have a coffee but recently i've been loving my tumbler so i do try to get a few sips before i even start to drink my coffee so hydration is really important for us um, especially when you're dealing with ms um, and then i did the kids uh, school lunches, I took the kids to school and as you guys saw, <laughs> Natalie was just um, being a little bit silly with me when we were walking out the door, but um, so I take the kids to school every morning by myself and I do not have a driving license, I cannot drive, um, let me change location, I feel like you can't really see me that well, okay, so I tried to get my driving license a few years back but uh, ended up failing and I was just so discouraged I, I didn't continue and now I don't trust myself enough to to do it so I don't know I used to go with my bike everywhere so I would take my kids to school on my bike so before it was just Natalie and I and I always had this chair in the back and she would sit in it and we, that would be our little like I don't know special time during the day but then since Hector came uh, I had to have him in the back and she had to walk next to me and little by little I started feeling like I wasn't able to use my bicycle anymore uh, my strength was not sufficient I my balance were really poorly and I didn't trust myself on it and you know, I would just exhaust myself really quickly um, so I had this whole routine after I got my electric scooter or patinette as we call it um, I would take them to school on the bike walking next to the bike so I would be just leading the bike to school so Hector could sit and then I would quickly go home and change for my electric scooter and then go to work but now they are both in the same school so I can walk with both of them in the morning it's so close to where we live so we can literally walk which is great so Hector usually sits on the scooter and Natalie walks next to me and we 
we chat on the way there and then when I'm done dropping them off I take the scooter to work um, so it's working out quite well but when I have like a relapse or when I'm not feeling my best balance wise it's not so safe so I really try to be careful I try to go on like streets where there is not too many cars I try to not go so fast and another trick that I have you're gonna laugh at me I wear heels every day to work not like super high heels but heels um, either blocked heels or like at least a little bit of heel kind of like that because it gives me more stability in my legs so what used to happen was that my legs used to give in like my knees would go backwards and I would fall um, so when I have my heels it's like my my leg is locked in a position where it can't go back anymore it's like it's overextended a little bit um, and that seems to help so <laughs> I don't know if that could be worth trying uh, if you have a similar issue as me but I mean, I don't mind walking around in heels, I don't feel pain or anything, my feet are mainly numb anyway, so I don't really, I can't really tell if I, if I get pain from, from wearing heels, but I feel like it helps with my balance, so that's a bit funny. Um, my colleague is not here today, she's taking a personal day, um, and my thoughts go out to her and her family, I'm not gonna get into it, I'm just gonna say that I'm thinking about you today and I'm thinking about your family today a little extra um, and let's get cracking I have a few things that I need to do at work I'm sure it's gonna be a busy day um, and then after work we have doctor's appointments um, so I'm gonna take you through my whole daily routine like my morning my work day my afternoon and my evening routine so it's gonna be a full day in the life so enough rambling and let's get into it I decided to stay behind in the office after work today because Caesar had a medical procedure. He had a small operation on his hand and I have to go and pick up the kids by myself this afternoon. So I decided to get some lunch here from a local place called Willow Cafe and they do really nice wraps. So I'm having the falafel wrap with coleslaw and hummus and I have some crisps on the side but it, I had one of these already and it's, it's really yummy so you have uh, carrots red cabbage like um, spinach and all sorts of things it's so yummy and I'm gonna wash it all down with some water and a caramel macchiato very naughty of me but I felt like it and uh, yeah that's what we're doing for lunch today Home again, home again, and I have things everywhere I can't even... Mm. So overwhelming. Um, I'm home again, Caesar's operation went fine, he told me all about it, and uh, yeah, he's resting now. I had to bring home the kids by myself, so I'm quite exhausted. And I just wanted to touch on the subject to what like made me want to do this vlog today so a couple of videos back i asked you guys if you wanted me to to talk about the topic like being a mom with the mess and how i managed to like you know um everyday life um as a mom while dealing with my ms so i feel like I've, I've touched on the subject many times throughout my vlogs but one of the things that comes to mind is to lower my expectations and when i say that i just mean like be more realistic with myself and to be confident in the fact that my kids what's most important to them is that i'm physically here with them that i put my attention on them like I uh, uh, we don't need to do extravagant things all the time we don't need to be busy and to go out and see all these different kinds of places or have friends over every day and that kind of thing it's just to be present in the moment and to be there with them and to listen to them and ask them questions and being interested in their lives like things like that is what they are gonna remember and I don't think it's a bad thing to be open and honest with your kids I haven't said because my my kids are so young so my daughter is six and my son is just turned three I don't think it's appropriate for me to sit down and be like mommy it's ill 
like that's not gonna do anything but make my daughter stress so what I am telling her is that when a symptom is overwhelming and I can't do something I, I will be open and say to mom mom is really tired I need to rest for a bit can we sit together in the sofa maybe and watch a show or we'll do some calm activity and um, like yesterday for example I, I turned to Pinterest because I was really tired and she wanted to do something creative and I've, I've created a Pinterest board on my Pinterest where I save all like activities that I can do with the kids for like a rainy day or something so today that came in or yesterday that came really in like came handy I think that's how you say and she got to scroll through all the different crafts that she could do and she found one that she really wanted to do. She did it and I was there and uh, I like s witnessed the process and she showed everything to me and it was fun and we got to talk and all of that. So I could sit down on the sofa and rest while she was doing that and we still felt like we were spending time together. Um, what else? I feel like I lost my train of thought. Um, or if I'm in a lot of pain and I need help and I'm like because Natalie is very helpful so if I ask her to do something she will and I if I need to pick something up off the floor or small things like I will I will involve them hey are you done eating oh are, do you still eat your Magdalena are you not gonna sit at the table and eat while while you still got some do you need to go to the toilet no okay are you gonna tell me when you need to go to the toilet Okay, if you go watch a little bit of the program, I'll play with you. Do you want to say hi to our friends? Okay, come. <laughs> Can you say hi? You have chocolate on your face. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Can we play? Shall we play something? What do you want to play? Mm, uh, a block is a okay. So later on today we are going to my doctor's appointment and it's not realistic that I cook dinner tonight. So we have decided to go to McDonald's. It's just one of those days. Hi! And this is something that would normally stress me out. So <laughs> we have things everywhere at the moment. We have toys everywhere. The bed is unmade and I have laundry that I need to do. So... Okay, let's go to the toilet then. Come on. What I was gonna say was I would normally stress out about having my space being so messy and I'm just gonna remind myself that he wants to play. So I'm gonna let him play until his heart is content and then we're gonna clean up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put a laundry on because that really needs to get done. And then, yeah. And then... When that's done, I'm going to be taking the laundry, fold the clothes, and then I'm going to have my oldest daughter help me put them away. Because she is old enough to help Mommy, now. Yeah? Cool. What do you want to play? Do you need more space? Maybe you should, should just clean up a few of the toys that you're not going to have if you want more space. Do you need help? Okay. Can you say, Mommy, please help me? Boy. Okay, ja kommer. When it comes to housework and stuff, I feel like I have quite a good system in place. So every day, or like, I will do certain things during the work week, and then I will do other tasks in the weekend when I have more time. So usually I will do my most of my laundry like in bulk during the weekend and then I will do my deep cleans during the weekend um, but like midweek I try to just um, stay on top of the mess Oi. I always do my dishes like I never go to bed at night having dirty dishes in the sink in the kitchen that has never happened um, there is nothing worse than waking up in the morning to a messy dirty kitchen that really messes with me and stresses me out the rest of my house could be upside down but like my kitchen needs to be nice and tidy and clean if I'm gonna cook in it so that's something that I never like not do <laughs> um, but I also have like 
an everyday hoover and then I have a deep clean hoover. So I have my Dyson cordless vacuum that I use on a daily basis. I will literally just walk around and, and vacuum like like where you see basically. I won't go under the sofa unless there is a real mess going on but like if we spill something or whatever. And then during the weekend I will do a like a big hoover with my more powerful a vacuum machine that has a cord and I will like deep clean and go under all the beds and under the sofa and on the sofa and in the sofa like everywhere but I feel like if I if I do like a light hoovering daily just basically um, <laughs> like around the furniture then I feel like it's it's manageable and it's quite fast it's not very we don't live in a very big place so we have about 87 square meters um, so it's quite fast to hoover that and then I will do a mop um, after I do my deep clean vacuuming or hoovering in the weekend so I mean if we spill we spot clean but uh, I'm not deep cleaning every day and I usually take <laughs> like if I clean my bathroom so I will do one bathroom one day and I will do the other bathroom another day so I don't overwhelm myself uh, because I do everything. I have to cook, I have to clean, I take care of the kids, I, you know, do the daily routines and Caesar works nights, so a lot of the things falls on me. Um, and I just can't bear to do it all like I used to, so I have to be more organized. And sometimes that means that it just has to get a little bit dirty, you know. If that means that I, if I need to rest one day and I can't bother to hoover, then I won't do it, you know. I will do that the next day. Um, and if I feel like I need help, I need to ask, but that's the most difficult for me, I feel like. Um, but now I'm gonna be playing a little bit with Hector. I really want to, to ha have quality time with my kids. I try to have one-on-one -on -one time as much as I can. Natalie and I usually go on Fridays after school to do something, just her and I. And now I'm sitting here with Hector, so I'm trying to be as present as I can so I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and focus on him and I'll speak to you guys a little bit later just finished with my appointment <laughs> excuse my half-eaten jamon serrano in the background I was gonna uh, restock my vitamins, so I thought I would just talk to you guys about what vitamins I'm currently taking and thinking of purchasing new ones. So I have my uh, trusty little divider. I don't know why it's so dark. Hello! Um, so I love this thing. I got it from Amazon and it's served me well. It's very easy to open so on days when my hands are not working um, it's very easy for me to be like okay let's say I can't fish things out of here so let's say I have Monday I can just press my little button and it opens very easy and I can pop my pills out and consume them very fast and easy. Um, if I have to like unscrew something like this and take something out, like that's a problem for me. I sometimes cannot screw on and off things, which sometimes make my life <laughs> living hell um, because I can't maneuver like my fingers properly sometimes. So this thing has been a lifesaver. So I'm just gonna restock, open all of them and restock. So I have my little <laughs> caddy of MS things. Yeah. Oh, you need socks. Do you want to help? This is not really for you to do, darling. No. I... My vitamins. Anyway, so today we are restocking the omega-3. We are also restocking. Yeah. Oof, my vitamin D. I'm running low. I need to repurchase. Are you going to open? There you go. Do you need some, Hector? Do you want your vitamins? <laughs> Natalie, have. Okay. Mommy, okay. Can you, when I, I'm gonna put in and you can close them, okay? When I have put this inside, you can close it. Okay. Okay, so 
So one for each day. Pero voy a poner más cosas, ¿ok? Tiene que esperar un ratito más, ¿vale? Voy a poner más cosas. I'm gonna do my vitamin D. And I'm gonna read. Uff! Don't know if we have enough. So I normally put one per day. And then I will randomly take two days of the week where I add an extra vitamin D. Um, so which one should we do? What day is today? Wednesday. I think we should do one today and then maybe one on Saturday. Okay. That leaves me with three. So I need to order more. Yes, now you can close it. And I bought multi multivitamin gummies for my kids that they hated. So I'm taking them. Uh, we can put these ones in too. Pira. Um, so I want to order some like adult ones. Um, but I mean, this is better than nothing. <laughs> it's just because my kids did not like them. I decided to, instead of throwing them away, um, eat them myself. If I can't, if I can get it out. Can you put it for me and throw? I need to take something. But I know I must say yeah. no? Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. And then, apart from that, I try to also take one no, I must scoop say. of collagen in a water. I mean, I must. No? So one scoop of collagen in a glass of water per day as well. And I don't know if it's really making a difference, but if you look at my nails, I don't know if it's because of the collagen, but like my nails are really long and really strong at the moment, so that's good. No, it's not good. Thank you. Cierralo for me. So that's all. So on my list of vitamins to buy, I'm gonna see what I have. I'm gonna share that with you. I wanted to mention that in my caddy here is not only vitamins. So here is where I have like all the medications I've tried for pain relief. So things like Lyrica, I've tried this thing for pain relief and none of it works for me. Like I still have some for my vertigo in here, I have some steroids still in here from my last attack. I just mommy, I keep, me uh -huh. and I keep this thing mommy, very me okay. I keep this one very mommy, high up and far me. away from the kids because I would not want them to get their hands on that. 